Mavic Air 2 has got a specified max flight time of 34 minutes. In practice, you're not going to get that. Return to home and critical battery will kick in well before that. So real life flying, how much flight time in the sky do you actually get? Well, that is what I'm talking about today. Hello, I'm Ian and I play with drones and today I am playing with the Mavic Air 2 again trying to find out exactly how long a flight time you're going to get with real life flying. So uh, like I said the specifications say you've got 34 minute battery life but you're not going to get that pretty much under any circumstances. So what I'm going to be doing today is flying at full throttle so that's going to be maximum speed in uh, P or normal mode and uh, I'll be going round and round and round the fields here uh, going up to the uh, oak tree about 400 meters away uh, so wind is not going to be a problem because uh, half the time I'm going to be flying with the wind and half the time I'm going to be flying against the wind. Um, but what I want to try and find out is how much battery life or how much flight time will I actually get out of a single flight, a uh, single battery uh, with continuous throttle. Then I'll be uploading the flight logs to airdata.com and I'll be actually uh, extracting all of the data from there to find out exactly what distance I've actually flown. I can't do a long distance in a straight line test. Uh, everybody's been clamoring for a range test for the C model. Unfortunately, British rules are fairly uh, clear on this. Uh, you've got to keep it within visual line of sight. And when you're talking about the Mavic Air 2 with OcuSync, uh, even the CE version, you're going to get a range of a good three miles away, which is uh, way beyond what I can uh, safely do around here. But what I can do is keep flying and track every meter or yard that I've flown and find out exactly what distance uh, you can fly, the maximum distance you can fly on one battery. So that's uh, basically it. I will of course be speeding up the video, otherwise it'll be a fairly boring uh, video because I'm expecting to get hopefully around 26, 27 minutes of uh, flight time in the end. Uh, it's brand new battery, uh, well I say brand new, uh, it's gone through about three charging cycles. Um, charged it up overnight, haven't used it today, so it's a freshly charged battery. Uh, thank you, Mr. Blackbird. And um, yeah, it'll be a continuous flight. So let's get on with it and see how we get on. Right, stop what started, let's start flying. Okay, I'll keep flying. I'll probably speed this up in the real video. Um, yeah, come back shortly. Hello again. Right, showing four minutes left. I just had a low battery warning, but I am ignoring the low battery warning because I'm not. Battery level is low. The aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. Cancel. So that's me canceling the return to home. So the automatic return to home kicked in, but I've cancelled that. So now I've got to fly close to, uh, to the house because at any point the critical battery will kick in. And once that kicks in, it's going to continually try and land. So I'm going to just get a little bit of altitude here to give myself a little bit of uh, latitude.
You see how the clock in the top right or the remaining time in the top right keeps recalculating itself based on uh, how much time it thinks it's, uh, it's still got to, uh, to play. Okay, critical battery. I haven't got any option here. Landing. Critically low battery. Critical low battery. So at that point, there's not much point in hanging around. So let's bring the chappy in. So he will continually try and land. Right, inside I've uploaded the flight data logs from my phone to airdata.com and uh, that allows me to analyze every aspect of the flight that I've just undertaken. And if you actually have a uh, look at that, here is the shape of the flight and interestingly the flight time comes in at 24 minutes and 34 seconds. That's a good nine and a half minutes shorter than the 34 minute uh, advertised flight time. Why is that? Well, a few things, uh, you can see the takeoff battery, was only 94% capacity, so despite me being fully charged, I wasn't at full capacity. Also, critical battery kicked in at 8%, which means that you could argue I had an additional 14% battery capacity that I wasn't fully utilizing. Taking their 34 minute max flight time at face value, 14% of that, I did the maths earlier, is about four and a half, four and three quarter minutes. So you could, if you're feeling generous, add that to my flight time, and you're then knocking on the door of 29 minutes uh, total flight time, starting with 100% going all the way down to zero. So that's still 5%, uh, sorry, five minutes uh, shorter than their 34 minutes. So where is that? Well, look, just when you are comparing your car fuel efficiency, they always do that at uh, 56 miles an hour, not uh, 80 miles an hour when you're running down the uh, motorway. And uh, it's the same, uh, same thing here, basically. If you're flying flat out, full throttle, as I was on this particular flight, you're going to be consuming more battery power and uh, the batteries are going to deplete sooner. So I don't think it's a, it's a bad result. Um, you know, you've got to take these things at face value. You're never going to get the full, fully spec'd uh, battery flight time. 24 minutes flying flat out, you're probably going to get around 26, 27, maybe 28 minutes if you're flying at a more uh, sedate pace. So next up was going to be the distance flown. Now look, as much as I would have loved cuckoo cuckoo as much as I would have loved to have done a long distance straight line flight UK airspace just a little bit too crowded for that we have VLOS rules uh, visual line of sight rules it means you cannot fly the drone beyond uh, where you can see it uh, maybe if I was in Nevada or uh, Utah over the deserts I'd have been happy to do that but all I could do today was uh, fly in uh, round and round and round in circles but it's still clocked up the distance of 15.2 uh, kilometers which comes in just under 10 miles so 10 miles off this one little battery i think is pretty amazing um i've yeah i've just got nothing to complain about there whatsoever uh, at all so the last thing was going to be uh, all these uh, all of you uh, screaming out for a range test and a signal test again for the same reason sadly i just cannot do that uh, so um, all i can do is show this other screen that basically shows that for that, the duration of the entire flight, I had nothing but green 100% signal uh, contact. And that's a key thing here. The specifications say uh, four to six miles range. Well, that's not really gonna be much use on an everyday basis because you hopefully are not gonna be flying that sort of distance. But what it does mean it's got the capacity to give you rock solid signal on your everyday day-to-day -day flights. And uh, as I said, this is the massive improvement of having OxySync 2 instead of the enhanced Wi-Fi. The uh, signal and the video transmission will never let you down at all. So it's a massive improvement. So what have we got there? 24 and a half minutes uh, full throttle max uh, flight time, almost 10 miles flight distance flown and 100% uh, signal for the entire flight. To me, that's a pretty impressive performance. Nothing to complain about there whatsoever. So look. 
hopefully uh, all useful stuff. Uh, if you like this sort of stuff, give me a little thumbs up. Uh, it all helps the cause. And uh, if you haven't already, then uh, click the old sub, ding the dong to get notified each time I put something out. Either way, until next time, as ever, stay safe and sane, have fun and happy flying.